Thanks. Um, so I'm going to teach you guys something today. Maybe you've heard the word before, maybe on CNBC every 10 minutes, and it is going to be on Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency market. Um, as a full-time trader who has been trading for 14 years every single day, who has made millions of dollars trading, I want to be trading whatever will make me money. And currently, right now, what is making me money is cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin. So Bitcoin futures from the CBOE are going to be listed Sunday night. I have to have an interview with CNBC Sunday night to be talking about the futures. And what I'm going to teach you guys, how you can do one of two things in this world. You can invest in cryptocurrencies as a long term, or you can trade them. Okay. You can trade cryptocurrencies or you can trade futures, which will be listed on Sunday with the CBOE. And then they will be listed the week after with the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. So what I'm talking to you guys about is the fundamentals of trading cryptocurrencies. So a little risk disclaimer here. This is a day trading, short term trading, option trading is generally not appropriate for everybody. It's a very risky undertaking. Uh, basically, more or less, you can lose all your money. Never execute a trade unless you're willing to prepare to lose your entire investment. All trading operations involve serious risk and you can lose all your money. I am not a registered investment advisor. I cannot give regiment recommendations or advice. Okay. What I can do is offer my opinion and in my, I, my opinion, the opinion is a lot more valuable. Okay. I can have a suit for losses of capital. All trades are for educational purposes only. Contract your broker, registered investment advisor for execution margin of the capital requirements. Everybody watching today's presentation adheres to all risk disclaimers on www.optionhacker.com and www.keynomarket.com and www.alphashark.com. So I will show you my portfolio. And this is my portfolio of cryptocurrencies. And I started trading cryptos on September 27th. So this is my portfolio. And I actually sold my list at 9.35. So let's just kind of update it here to see where we are at current prices. Uh, this is about 440. It's about eight bucks. This is 30 at 29. This is 22. I sold this at 9.30. So I closed that one. And I bought hush too. At 170. It's currently worth 170. Okay, so this is my portfolio, guys, of cryptocurrencies. You can kind of look at cryptocurrencies and kind of view them as stocks, but they're a lot more volatile. So on September 27th, I bought all these names, Vertcoin, IOTA, Golem, and ZRX, okay? Within the last two months, so about 10 weeks total, IOTA, 45 cents, has gone up to $4.40. There's no, no way on this planet you're going to get a 10x in options, futures, stocks, forex. That's why I trade the crypto market. Bought Vertcoin at a dollar two. That has moved up to eight bucks. Okay, and you can see my initial investment four thousand dollars. My PL here is sixteen thousand. So I five x my capital. Yes, I will trade Bitcoin futures when they get launched. Okay, so my four thousand dollars has gone up to twenty thousand dollars guys in 10 weeks and one thing you also notice i don't own any bitcoin okay and then i recently made about 600 bucks on lisk uh and then i have just bought these two and these are pretty much unchanged okay so this is my crypto portfolio guys and i'm going to teach you how you can make 10x gains uh trading the cryptocurrency space so a little story about me and when i learned about bitcoin uh i'm not going to sit here and say i was an early adopter i started learning about bitcoin when bitcoin was Around $350, my old CEO came into my office and he goes, AK, have you heard of this crypto thing, this Bitcoin thing? I'm like, yeah. He goes, it's gone from a dollar to $350. He goes, you should buy some of it. I go, okay, here's my credit card, put $5,000 on my credit card. He goes, what do you mean? I go, well, I own gold coins. I own silver coins. Buy me some Bitcoin and tell me when they come in the mail. And he goes, no, 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 AK. They're not physical coins. They're stored on your computer. Okay. And this is probably about four years ago. And I was like, why would I want anything that's stored on my computer? I don't even like going through email. It sounds terrible. I'll probably lose it. I'll throw the computer away. So I did not buy Bitcoin. I recently got in the cryptocurrency space uh, about three months ago. And what you guys got to realize is that everybody trades differently in this world. 
okay? And everybody can teach you what is working, okay? But times change. You have to pivot in your trading. You can't just always trade the same thing over and over because sometimes you're not gonna make money in it, okay? If I trade an unusual option activity all the time and it made money all the time, then I'd just write a program. It's not that easy, right? The fact of the matter, you gotta trade with what's hot. What is hot right now and is what is trading is a cryptocurrency space. So there's a really good site, it's called CoinMarketCap. I go to this probably 20 times a day. It gives me um, basically in market cap um, all the cryptos. And look at these, look at these guys. We're traders, we tr trade, okay? I'll trade oranges, I'll trade bananas if I think I'm gonna make money. Look at this here, look at the changes. 11%, okay, 21%. 12%, 30%, 10%. That's insane, okay? If I looked at I think or swim here and I looked at my um, the stocks, you know, Weight Watchers up 60 cents. What's that, a percent? LNG is up 50 cents, 1%, uh, 3%. Uh, I have position Duncan down nothing, MGN down three cents. Like stocks don't move, they're boring. We wanna trade and as traders, we wanna trade with what's hot. And cryptocurrencies are the hottest thing out there. So today I'm going to teach you about trading cryptocurrencies. We're going to talk about our boot camp. I will start trading futures on Monday as well. So my name is Andrew Keen. I am a full-time trader, an author. I've written five books now um, and an educator. I wrote a book on cryptocurrencies as well. In the last three years, I've had the luxury of living in Chicago, San Diego, Austin, and Dallas. So with trading, you can be anywhere in the world, okay? Uh, I ran the trading room from Iceland. I've been in, I was just in Vegas. I was in Baltimore running the trading room. I'm going to Brazil. I'll be running the trading room. I'll be in Colombia. A regular contributor on CNBC, Bloomberg, Fox Business, BNN in Canada, Sky Australia. Um, I will be doing a hit most likely for CNBC Sunday night when the Bitcoin futures loss, uh, launch. Patty Dom at uh, CNBC already called me and said, we want you on when the futures launch and tell us what you think of it. So I've kind of established myself here as an expert in this field, um, an expert in the cryptocurrency space and specifically in Bitcoin. As I look at my Coinbase account, um, I currently do not own any Bitcoin. I'm very fearful and scared. You can see I have about $4,000 just sitting there in cash. Um, you can leave cash in your Coinbase account. Uh, Coinbase came out last weekend and they said they have more customer accounts than Charles Schwab, okay? Charles Schwab. They have more customer accounts. They have about 15 million. They're adding 100,000 a day. And we see they only trade three products here. They're going to get more products. The three products they trade is going to be Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. And when the futures come out, you know, is that going to make volatility go higher or go lower? I'm not sure. But what I want to teach you guys, how this could be the best investment of your future. So there's two ways to look at cryptos. Number one, to trade them. Okay. I kind of actively trade them, get in and out of positions. And number two, um, it is to it in, invest in them, okay? Investing in the long haul, investing in blockchain technology, investing in the new wave. This is basically like a new stock market, okay? There's 1,334 and in stocks there's about 8,700. So there's about one fifth of them, but there's new ones every single day. This is basically the stock market that you should be trading. The reason you should be trading it because there's volatility. Volatility creates opportunity as a trader. Do you know what the VIX is right now? $9.60. Do you know how hard it is to make money on a $9 VIX? Trust me, it's hard. So this is my PL from 2007. I am a trending trader. I trade very well with the trend. I've basically been long the stock market for the last two years and just rode it up. So in 2007, when the world is collapsing, you can see my PL. This is an audited statement from Z Goldman Sachs. And uh, you can see here my PL is $1.5 million. Okay. And this is my own trading account. I was about, uh, um, this is about uh, 80 20 deals. This is before payment for order flow, seat lease commissions, and stuff like that. But you can see here, I let my PL speak for itself. I'm up almost $16,000 today. Um, so I am a very active trader. In the background, I have Think or Swim and Trade Hawk going. I am trading as I'm giving this presentation, which is a little bit challenging for me, um, but that's okay. 2008, market's collapsing. What am I? I'm short only, okay? So what does this tell you guys, okay? I've been long for two years. In 2007 and 2008, I was short, I was short for two years, okay? Trend is your friend. Be on the side of institutional order flow. Be on the side of the trend. 
The cryptocurrency space is the hottest thing out there. It's only going higher. Every single correction has been bought, okay? So you have to be buying on dips and looking for opportunities in the market. So from my point of view, cryptocurrencies represent 100% the best opportunity out there of anything, okay? You can think of anything in this world to invest in, and as, a, as someone that has capital, I am an investor. So I look at it as this. It's a 50-50 binary bet. There is a 50% chance that cryptos and Bitcoin goes to zero, okay? When you buy something, you don't have debt of a company. All you have is equity, okay? It can only go to zero, okay? Then there is a 50% chance that these 10X, so they go up 10 times. We have sent nine trade alerts, okay? Out of those alerts, they have all been winners, okay? And two of them have 10 x okay? If you put $1,000 in IOTA, the day we sent out the first signal, your $1,000 would have turned into $10,000, okay? If you put in $500, it would have gone to $5,000. What would you do with an extra $5,000 or $10,000? You could pay off your mortgage, maybe go on a family vacation, uh, maybe just enjoy life a little bit more than you currently do. You guys are all in here for one reason, one reason only. It's to make more money. As Jim Cramer says, uh, put it in the next alert. Well, hopefully we are. We have nine winners. I can show you all the trade alerts too. Um, so as Jim Cramer says it, I'm not here to make friends. I'm just here to make more money. So you guys have taken the first step in potentially making more money and that is attending a free webinar. Now you gotta act on the education that I'm giving you guys today for free, okay? So cryptocurrencies, if someone came to me and says, AK, I have $1,000, three years, what is the one best investment I can make for my lifetime? I would say 100% cryptocurrencies. And this 1,000 could be 10,000, it could be $100,000. From my point of view, I invest in a lot of things, okay? I made full-time trader, I'm an investor as well though. I invest in, I own three residential uh, houses. I have one in Chicago, one in Arizona, one in San Diego. I are long versus short-term rentals. I also um, invest in commercial real estate. I own part of the strip mall in Arizona. I invest in my buddy's company, okay, uh, ticket company. So I'm in a, I am basically kind of like an angel investor and um, I'm always looking for opportunity as Kevin O'Leary says, because I watch every single episode of Shark Tank, to take my money to make more money. And cryptos right now is the best opportunity in the world, guys. And if you guys are sitting on the sidelines, you're missing the chance of potentially getting really, really rich. So I look at it as one of two ways, okay? You can trade them or you can invest in them. Whatever technical analysis method you use, it works pretty well in the cryptocurrency space. I trade a lot with Ichimoku Kink and Hoi, otherwise known as the Ichimoku Cloud. It works very well in the Ichimoku Cloud. It works very well with Elliott Wave, if you're an Elliott Wave trader. If you're a DeMarc, I'm actually having some guy come over to my place to show me how he trades DeMarc um, using cryptocurrency pairs. Or you can invest in them, okay? I am investing a uh, part of my net worth. And we'll talk about, you know, uh, we'll talk about JP Morgan and Jamie Dimon a little bit here in a while. And we'll talk about, um, you know, him calling it a fraud. And since he's called it a fraud, it's 3X in money. So a financial advisor, if you went in there and said, hey, you know, I have $20,000, I want to invest, and I want to retire at the age of 50, okay? A normal financial advisor is just going to tell you this, simple and standard, because this is what he's taught. He's taught to tell you 100 minus your age is how much you should be investing in crypto. So 100, I'm 38, okay? So 100 minus 38 should be my stock portfolio. And remember, guys, I'm not a registered investment advisor. I cannot give recommendations or advice. It's just my opinion. So he's going to tell you, you should be buying 62% stocks, okay? What you have left is bond portfolio. Your bond portfolio should be about 38% asset allocation. So 62 and 38 should be your asset allocation between the two. There are two main problems with setting up a portfolio like this. This is a you know, what they call probably an old school um, methodology. This is talking about stuff, you know, years and years ago. The problem nowadays, and when I first started trading at the floor of the Chicago Board Options Exchange, we were paid uh, seven to three quarters percent on long stock. The problem with this is there's two main problems. Number one, 
not only is the stock market trading 52 week highs, it's trading all time highs. So do you wanna be the last person holding the bag of marbles? Because the market, in my opinion, some point is gonna have a major correction. And number two, bonds pay you zero, okay? So this is the problem with this. So if you had 62% of your uh, money right now today in the stock market, okay? If we sold off 10%, you're just losing money. And the bonds, okay? 10-year bond pays 2.4%. If you include inflation, which is probably about 2.5%, you're actually losing money with inflation. You're losing about 0.1%. You can leave your money in the bank, which is even worse, okay? So this is the major problem with talking to a financial advisor is they're just looking at how they can make money. They make rips off this. They're also known as commissions off this, okay? So this is a terrible usage of your investments or money that you want to put towards possibly retiring. Terrible, okay? So we're going to come here and build a better portfolio for you guys. This is what my model portfolio kind of looks like. And, you know, you guys can tweak it however you want. Um, you know, this is what I look at as someone who has a lot of money that wants to retire. I'm in about 40% stocks. Um, I do a lot of cash secured puts. I do covered calls. I do zero cost collars, 20% real estate. And I'm trying to actually get my real estate number up to about 33%. Okay. Bonds and my bonds are more corporate bonds. Okay. So back a couple of years ago, you could get a decent interest rate on corporate bonds. I would not personally be looking for any municipal bonds or just state bonds, any government bonds, either United States or overseas. Alternative investments and alternative investments could be anything from your sister wants to invest in a coffee shop or your buddy wants to open a CrossFit gym, um, kind of at kind of like fun money, right? Alternative investments. That's what I kind of call fun money. Then gold, um, you know, gold, we'll talk about the difference between, um, you know, what's going on in, in gold versus diamonds versus Bitcoin in the cryptocurrency space. But basically you can compare gold peer to peer online ever uh, lending. Yeah, I would never lend my Bitcoin out because a lot of those companies are actually scams. So just be careful of that. And then 10% asset allocation of Bitcoin slash cryptocurrencies. I am right now at about 2%. I want to get up to 5%. And as cryptos go higher, it will go up to probably about 10%. But this is an asset allocation. And people that say that gold, you know, isn't an asset allocation, gold's an asset allocation. We'll talk about, you know, is gold a commodity or currency? Um, because it's really, really important to understand. So cryptos can be described as so many different things. I spend personally about four hours a day on YouTube learning cryptocurrencies and learning, um, you know, what's important, which ones I like. So this is all kinds of names here, um, Litecoins, peer-to-peer, -peer, profiting, mining, um, trading, uh, cash, online services. You know, the way you can think of it is like one of two things. Number one is the internet. It's a currency of the internet. Okay, so you can look at it and say it's currency of the internet. And number two way to look at it is saying that it's basically one thing that could take down the banks. And we'll talk about Jamie Dimon, you know, calling it a fraud here in a minute. So from my point of view, there's a reward to risk setup. Paul Tudor Jones, who is one of the best traders in all time history, talks about reward to risk setups. He does not make a trade unless he can get, thinks he can get three to one on his capital. Okay. Well, this rewarder is set up that we're setting up in the cryptocurrency space, in my opinion, is 10 to 1. Yes, you can lose all your money, but the potential upside is 10x. Amazon right now is $1,160. Let's say you didn't have a position in Amazon and you bought Amazon today. Is there any chance that Amazon goes to $11,000? I think there's a better chance of me living on Mars by the end of the week. No. Okay. Is there any chance that Apple goes from 170 to 1700? My answer is no. But there are cryptocurrencies out there, and there's been trades. Okay, I'll show you the trades that we physically sent out. We'll give you guys an opportunity to take advantage of this. Okay, this is the back end. It's called SendHub, and this is every single trade we sent out. Okay, so if I go back to the first trade we sent out, we sent out a trade in Vertcoin at 69 cents. 69 cents, guys. Do you want to know where it is today? Well, I'll bring it up because I know where it is. It's like eight bucks. 69 cents, we sent out this signal. If you put $1,000 in this trade, you'd be up $10,000. So, Vertcoin, 
69 cents, guys. Look at that. $8.64. Not bad. 67 cents right there. 69 cents. 69 to 864. As we keep going, um, do, 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 dash. You send out a signal dash at 360. Let's see where dash is. 360, 740. This has doubled in value. Okay. Let's keep going. Ethereum. Buy Ethereum at 304. Okay. So we give you all these proprietary base levels that you should be buying things. 460. Golem. Actually, Golem hasn't really moved much. So this is an opportunity to maybe buy some Golem here. 27 cents. You know, it's still up 10%, but it's really not moving that much. Then this is the biggest one, guys. IOTA. You sent out a signal in IOTA at 44 cents, and now it's $10. Okay. So this is a potential upside you can make on these. And it's up 22% just today. Okay. And then we sent out this one. That went up five bucks, so on and so forth. We sent out nine signals. We have nine winners, guys. Okay. So let's compare Bitcoin to a couple of things. The first thing I'm going to compare it to is diamonds and gold. Diamonds became symbols of prestige as far back as India, and they eventually became a product of South Africa. Their demand was highlighted by De Beers. Okay. Gold is a metal that has no industrial production. Okay. I go and I speak on cryptocurrencies. Uh, can you short these? I think the answer is yes. You will definitely be able to short Bitcoin futures when they do come out. Okay, you will definitely be able to short Bitcoin futures when they come up. So there's basically diamonds, okay? What is the industrial production of diamonds? So I've given this speech in Chicago. I've given this speech in um, New York. I've been giving this speech in Las Vegas and San Diego. When people say diamonds, diamonds have no industrial production. The only thing they can do in this world is cut glass. So when I say is diamond a commodity or currency, most people say it's a commodity because it's dug from the ground. I view it more as a currency. Because why is it worth $10,000 a carat plus or minus? Because your beer has created a market. Same thing as gold. Gold has no value at all. If I'm on an island stranded and I somebody has, I have an unlimited supply of cheeseburgers and you have all the gold in the world, who's really winning? And the answer is me. I'm actually really winning because I can eat and survive. Okay, so take that in consideration. So gold is actually more of a currency than as a commodity. Just because it's physical and you take it from the ground doesn't mean it has any value. Okay, so when man assigns value onto something, it instantly gains in value. Therefore, you can profit. When there's a limited amount of supply, such as there is in gold and diamonds, there is value. Okay, very similar to tulip mania. All these commodities were ones that whoever got in first made money. And if you, you know, people say, oh, it's like the internet bubble, the 1999. And that could be true. The problem is there's really good currencies out there, cryptocurrencies, and there's really bad ones, okay? And we help you guys in our eight and a half hour bootcamp navigate through the ones that are really good and the ones that aren't so good, okay? And that's what you're gonna learn. You're gonna learn which one of these are good and which one not. There's a lot of them linked to marijuana. I would never be buying any cryptocurrency linked to the marijuana space. <laughs> but they're very good ones, like IOTA that we sent out a signal that has 10X in value. So imagine that you invested in the internet back in 1998. Okay. And the people that got rich didn't buy Apple at eight bucks because you probably sold it at 30. The people that got rich bought Apple at 30 and wrote it to a thousand dollars. The people that got rich didn't buy Amazon at 30 because they probably sold it at 80. The people that got really rich were the people that bought Amazon at 80 and wrote it up to 1165. So this could be the best investment you could possibly make in your future and in your lifetime. I'm not going to sit here and sell it. Say, say, sell every single thing you have and go all into the cryptocurrency space. Come about, even though I have friends that literally are 100% all into the space. I'm just saying, you guys need to learn a why it's important, b how to trade it, and c how to store it in, in a wallet. Because if you don't steal in a wallet, you can be late. You could be hacked. Good crypto brokers. Uh, Coinbase is a good exchange. Uh, I like GDAX is a good exchange. Uh, X. Uh, Gemini, uh, Kraken, those are all good exchanges. There are bad exchanges too. So this could possibly be your best chance to retire, okay? Like I said, we have almost 150 people here. You guys are here for one reason, one reason only. It is to make more money. If you don't wanna make more money, then just leave, okay? I wanna make money. I go to webinars. I just lost, listened to the last person speak. Um, I want to listen to what I think I can make money in, okay? And this is an opportunity that you guys are not going to get in the future. 
I started doing this webinar three months ago, Bitcoin was $3,500. I pounded the table and told every single person to buy Bitcoin. Yes, it went down to $29.90 when Jamie Dimon called it a fraud. But you know where it is now? $15,000. If you bought $500 of the Bitcoin, the first time I did this webinar, you'd have, have $2,500 of profit. And every single signal we sent out has been a winner. We're going to give you an opportunity to purchase these trade alerts at the end of the presentation. So we sent nine trade alerts, guys. Nine. Every single one has been a winner. Okay. Yeah, I did hit 19,000, I know. Okay. A $2,000 investment in IOTA that we sent out would could have gone to $20,000. 2,000 to 20,000. A $500 investment in Vertcoin. And you'll get all these trades sent to your phone for the next six months. So we're offering a six month program today. It could have gone to $8,000, okay? So just two of those trades, you know, what would you do with you if you had, if you had invested 2,500, ooh, 2,500, and now you have 28,000, right? Can you react to seasonality historical for next week, please? Um, I don't know if this is the right time. There's no seasonality for cryptos because they haven't been around long enough. But that 2,500 would have gone into 28,000. Okay, so uh, one of the biggest things we talk about is Jamie Dimon. Jamie Dimon called Bitcoin a fraud. Why did Jamie Dimon call Bitcoin a fraud? A couple of reasons. Number one, he's on the Legion's board for uh, uh, Ethereum, which is the biggest competitor. And number two, it competes against the banks. If there's Bitcoin, there's no reason to have your money in the bank. So that's two reasons that he called it a fraud. Bill Gates, yes. Do we send out all the alerts? Yes. We send out all the signals, minimum two trades per month. Uh, we send out those videos, text and email. We're going to start shooting videos of how to how you can buy them on the exchanges and store them in wallets. Bill Gates stated that Bitcoin was unstoppable and here to stay in a recent interview with Bloomberg. I mean, Bitcoin's so popular. Like, literally, CNBC called me today, uh, Patty Dom in Englewood, and she goes, Do you trade Bitcoin? I go, Of course I do. She goes, Can you do an interview right when they launch on Sunday night? Because that's how respected I am in the community. Janet Yellen, head of the Fed, head of the Federal Reserve, Hetero, head of the Federal Reserve. Uh, Janet Yellen has donated millions into research and implementation of cryptocurrencies in society. Okay. <clears throat> Mike Novogratz, former hedge fund manager. Mike Novogratz came out of retirement. He is worth. 1.5 billion dollars okay fortress guy goldman guy came out of retirement saw the opportunity and he said hey i'm going to take 150 million of my 1.5 billion dollars and i'm going to come out of retirement and I'm going to start a cryptocurrency hedge fund can the government rule it like they did in poker that's a very good question and the answer is yes they can but having bitcoin futures set a wave that most likely they're not going to do that. Okay. So Mike Novogratz came out of retirement and invested 10% of his net worth into the cryptocurrency space. Okay. $150 million hedge fund. And that was the 10% asset allocation. You know, I'm going to have about 5% of my assets in there. Three main points to evaluate. Okay. Are you ready to invest in cryptocurrency? You can know this by evaluating three questions underneath. Number one, is the market saturated? No, no, no. It's currently a $430 billion company. I'll show you how I come up with a valuation on Bitcoin. And I think there's only ways, two ways to get a valuation on Bitcoin. Number one, how much of the cryptocurrency space, uh, how much of the fiat currency space it could take over. And number two is how much of the gold it could take over. Okay. So that's how you get a valuation of Bitcoin. I think Bitcoin could realistically go to $200,000. Number two, the market is on a major, major upswing, okay? There's scarcity in Bitcoin because there's only 21 million coins. And number three, I've been mean, talking about recognition. There's 100,000 people opening accounts at Coinbase every single day. 100,000 accounts opened every single day, okay, at Coinbase. And it is the best reward risk setup. You know, when you guys are trading, what kind of reward risk setup do you look at? One, two. one, do you look at a one to one? Do you look for a two to one? Do you look for a three to one? This is potentially a 10 to one reward to risk setup.
Can you please repeat and couldn't write them all down? The exchanges or the co the coins? And that's something we go over in the big in the uh, camp, in the boot camp. That's something we go over in the boot camp. So I'm not going to sit here and say, "Hey, you should sell everything you have and put it in a cryptocurrency space." What I'm saying is, as a trader, I will take money and I will trade Bitcoin futures as they get launched on Sunday. Also, I will put money in as an investment. So you can trade them. Yes, tulips come into mind, and that's the big one. But tulips are exactly the same as gold. They have value because man assigned value on them. Okay. And can it go to zero? Sure. But we know in trading you have to be able to risk money to make money. Okay. You cannot make money without risking money. Do you think traditional SR? I don't know what SR is. Okay. So I'm not going to sit here and say sell everything you have. I'm just saying I'm asset, I'm taking asset allocation and investing in them, number one. And number two, I will be actively trading the futures. Support and resistance, yes. I would be actively trading the futures um, through the CBOE and the CME um, using the Ichimoku Cloud and my proprietary base uh, trading. And we're going to teach you guys um, you know, historical data that has worked really, really well for trading, day trading cryptos. So this needs to be reported for a portfolio. I mean, I did a speech when I was 3,500 and I said I was going to 25,000. I have a new target in Bitcoin. I think Bitcoin is going to $100,000. When we started this um, three months ago, there was 900 cryptocurrencies. Now there is 1,334 types of cryptocurrencies. There are a lot of really, really bad cryptocurrencies, guys. And there's a lot of really, really good cryptocurrencies. You've got to know the difference. And this is something we teach you guys in our eight and a half hour boot camp um, on trading cryptocurrencies. The last question is how high can Bitcoin go? Okay. I have reasons and ways that I've come up with the valuation of Bitcoin for right or wrong. Okay. I believe that it can move up to a trillion dollars. Okay. So currently right now, Bitcoin is 250 billion. Okay. So at 250 billion. Okay. And I think it can go to a trillion. That would be one seventh of the gold market or one fifth, one eighth of the gold market. So this would put it at $60,000 a coin. Currently it's 15,000, okay? So $60,000. So I believe Bitcoin can go to a trillion. Right now it's roughly 250 billion. That would be about 15% of the gold market because the gold market is about a $7 trillion uh, market. Okay, and let's go to the next one. The entire Forex trades about $5 trillion a day. $5 trillion a day. Bitcoin trades about 2 point, uh, actually now it's traded about 20 billion. Okay. So normally this trades about 5 trillion. Whoa. Whoa. And currently it trades about 2.4 billion a day. Obviously the volume has been a lot higher in the last couple of days. If the cryptocurrency market can get to 1% of fiat currency. Okay. If you could just replace 1% of fiat currency, then it would 10x from current levels, which would be 150,000. If it takes 5% of the of it, it, it could go to 50,000. Thoughts of the GBTC? No chance. I'm gonna touch that thing. I would short it if anything. And I tried to actually short it yesterday, and I couldn't short it. GBTC. I tried to short it at 1800. Oh, 1680. Okay. So, are you ready to make the next steps? Okay. We have. One of the best, and I think it's our best selling boot camp on the cryptocurrency space. So it's called the Cryptocurrency Cryptocurrency Mastery, the ultimate course to making money with digital digital currency trading. What happens in this course is what takes your knowledge to the next level and allows you to really feel comfortable of being an active participant in the cryptocurrency trading investing margin. Okay. I personally, guys, have taken four thousand dollars. And turned into 22,000 in the last uh, 10 weeks. And that is with no position in Bitcoin. That is with no position in Bitcoin. Okay. So I, me and my business partner pick certain names that we like. Okay. So who is this boot camp good for? That's a good question. It is good for any beginner, intermediate, or expert, anybody who wants to potentially retire 20 years earlier. Uh, I don't know what eToro is. 
I don't think they have, eToro doesn't have cryptos. It's a social networking platform. Any trader who wants to diversify their portfolio. So what we got are offering you guys today, and we will probably sell out of this, it's options on the floor, and then I'll leave it open for questions. I have about seven minutes for questions, forward slash Bitcoin, okay? Tax simplifications, you're gonna have to talk to a CPA for that, okay? So what you guys will get, and this is, we have 25 spots available, you'll get master the five reasons why cryptocurrencies will move from a 160 billion, so now we have to even change these, because the market just keeps going up, okay? This market is so hot, guys. This has gone to 460 billion, and I think it's gonna go to two trillion. So learn the five reasons why cryptos are gonna go from 460 billion to two trillion in the next five years. This is an eight and a half hour boot camp on demand, guys. Okay, so this is an eight hour and a half hour boot camp. I think I traded something here, okay? Six month of trade alerts. So you get six months of trade alerts with minimum of two trades per month. So in these trade alerts, you'll get text and email, plus we'll show you how to set up the trades. So in the video, it will show you what exchange you put money in, okay? Also, it will show you how to set it up a private wallet on every single trade. So this is a six month program, guys. This is not just a one month program. This is a six month program. You're gonna get mentoring sessions. You're gonna get 12 private mentoring sessions, private group mentoring sessions with my business partner. He has taken uh, roughly $30,000 and new 600,000 trading cryptos in the last nine months. You'll get exclusive bonus videos of how to put money <coughs> into your account, into a private wallet, and then back to the exchange. Also, you're gonna get a five favorite plays for trading the cryptocurrency space. We'll give you our five trades. This is a $4,000 value, guys. And as part of this webinar, we're giving it to you guys for $497. And the thing about this, guys, this isn't something you're gonna do overnight. This is a six month program. So we could have sat there and broke it down for you. It breaks down to about, what is that, 83 bucks a, day, uh, a month, which is about $2 a day, okay, $3 a day. That one trade in IOTA, if you put $1,000 in it, you could have made $9,000 profit, okay? options on the floor.com forward slash bitcoin i already see people signing up dan is in todd is in <coughs> adam is in uh, mike is in don is in do you guys have any questions at all if not we can look at a couple charts real quick of bitcoin uh, on trading view any questions of fire away okay let's go here yes so you'll get an eight and a half hour boot camp you'll get six months of trade alerts, okay? If you invested in every trade alert that we had, you would have nine winners, no, no losers, and you'd be up on about, I think if you invested $1,000 per trade, you'd be up about um, $30,000. Uh, this is, so you can trade on whatever you want. Ooh, Bitcoin. Bitcoin's selling off. So here's Bitcoin's chart. As you can see here on the Ichimoku cloud, on the daily chart, we break to the upside here, here, and here. Those were all winners. Satisfaction guarantee? Nope, we don't need to. There's no money back guarantee. This, pot, this course is so popular, we've sold over 100 of them, okay? So here's a chart of Bitcoin here. I think we get pullbacks here. I'm not looking to get long in here. I think we retest this 9,000 level, and then I think we're actually gonna go to 7,200. So I'm actually short-term bearish in Bitcoin, long-term bullish. Because I think when the futures markets come in, um, I think when the future market come in, they're gonna start shorting Bitcoin, okay? So just keep that in mind. But there's opportunities as a trader. I'm gonna be actively tra trading it, and I'll be actively trading it on the 120-minute bar, okay? Using the Ichimoku Cloud. We had a cloud breakout here at 1,067. That would have been a huge winner, guys. You could have wrote it up to a 17,000, okay? We have a cloud breakout here, winner, okay? So I'm gonna look to trade Bitcoin on the 120 minute bar in the futures, winner there, winner there. <coughs> Broke the cloud here, that was a winner. Also be looking to trade on the hourly chart. Yes, I'll go through it one more time. About a thousand whales own 40% of Bitcoin. Are they a 
threat. I mean, yeah, once the future market come out, there's going to be a lot more volatility. So what you guys will get, make sure you guys sign up. It's options on the four.com forward slash Bitcoin. You'll get a eight and a half hour boot camp on demand DVD. Oh, sorry, not a DVD. On demand. So the minute you purchase it, you can start learning immediately. Okay. Number two, six months of trade alerts. Okay. So this is a six month pro program. This is not just a one month thing. What's the structure of the course? Uh, so basically, what you're going to get is an eight and a half hour boot camp. You can go through it over the weekend. So this is eight and a half hours. You're going to get six months of private group mentoring. These are two per month. Ooh. So you're going to get 12 private group mentoring questions, uh, setting up wallets, setting up exchanges. The only problem with cryptocurrency, it's the hardest thing to understand how to do it. This is why we're giving you the private group mentoring <clears throat> for six months, guys. You'll get two trades per month minimum. Okay. Plus, we get exclusive private bonus videos of how to set up a money in a wallet, in exchange, and put it back in. Plus, our five favorite plays. This is a four thousand dollar value, guys. So you're getting about eighty five percent off. The link it's options on the floor. I see Tucker is in. I see Jeff is in. Optionsonthefloor.com forward slash Bitcoin.